Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be trying Arirang Bone Marrow Rice Noodles. And this is what's on the inside of the packaging. I knew it's rice from silly, I didn't know it would be this high class. Different from the usual, I have to boil 400 ml of water and then let the rice vermicelli in only after boiling without boiling it again. Then I should let it be for 3 minutes until it absorbs the water and then I should put in the seasonings. So after it has boiled, turn it off, put the rice vermicelli inside. Then while you wait for 3 minutes, put in the seasoning, also the oil, yeah it's the bone marrow remember so it's white, pretty white. Then you can mix it well, in this case I'm using a spoon and a pair of chopsticks. If you like it spicy then don't forget to add some chili sauce, it's more like water. <laughs> Then after you mix it all well with the chili sauce, it looks pretty much wait, pretty much like this. Pretty good looking. I hope it tastes as good. Hey everyone, today we'll be eating this. It's my first time eating rice from Soyu, which is not from Thailand. We ate kwa chop last time, which looks like this rice from Italy as well but wider and not like noodles, yeah. This is more like kwe tiao in my language, kwe tiao. <laughs> I'm not sure how to say it, but okay, we'll try. This is my first time trying this rice vermicelli from Korea, which usually I would eat rice vermicelli from Thailand, the papa brand or mama brand that I already showed you guys in previous videos. It's from Thailand though. I've never eaten any kind of this thing before, <laughs> so it's really my first time. I hope it's not disappointing though. Who knows? I'm not really good at. Am I not really good at chopstick or this is really sleeky? It's gone. <laughs> but okay. Maybe they were telling me to just eat a little first, dude. Okay. Okay, this is bone marrow. The taste is not strong. Yeah, you know I'm a strong taste but yeah. But it is not and it tastes pretty good. I mean I was going to cook another flavor. I bought some flavors of this brand. But I chose this one because I was looking for something less strong which is this is correct like the correct choice I think so it's more like instant it's really not the thing you boil so actually if you don't want to use the pan this kind of pan and want to use uh, like a bowl instead is perfectly fine <laughs> and it's perfectly easy you don't need to wash the pan as well because you don't need to boil it it's, it'll just soak into the water and get cooked by itself and i like it i like that point but since we are in like korean vibes we'll eat like them from the pan Actually, when I saw the chili and I touched the seasoning package, I knew it was liquid. And I was a bit afraid because I was looking for something lighter than the usual one I ate. So, but it is up to my expectation because the, 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 the chili sauce is not spicy. I mean, it was so watery <laughs> that it doesn't really taste spicy after getting mixed. But I'm not sure, okay? Maybe we'll find it out later, but we're gonna go eat them all now.
Okay, half time break. I don't think this is half, by the way. <laughs> Maybe only one third. And actually, I don't need break as well. It was good. And I cannot take small bites because it's lumping into one thing. Because <laughs> I am not really good in this chopsticks. I was going to use the better chopsticks than the usual, like the wooden one. <laughs> but it turns out that I don't, I am not really good at it. Oh, I do. <laughs> And done. Everything done. Yeah, nothing. So for the review, I think I shouldn't be complaining because I was looking for something light which doesn't taste strong. But it was milder than I thought even with the chili. I mean the chili was at few bites. If you drink like 5 or 6 spoons of the soup, you will feel that it is a bit spicy. But it, only, it is only stinging your, this part of your throat and no, nothing else. <laughs> so it's actually not spicy. But if you don't eat spicy, then I think you should just not use the chili. <laughs> okay? But after all, it is actually a good feeling of bone marrow. Even though it's, it doesn't really taste like bone marrow, but I could taste it. I mean, it doesn't taste much like it, but it does taste like it. And so I would give a rating of 7.75. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. Just it's it's based on everything, okay? It is edible for everyone and it is a good pace of change, yeah? Like I I'm really bored. I've been eating noodles this week and it's not only instant noodles. I mean, I, I didn't eat noodles, instant noodles for the past week, okay? <laughs> so I was saying that I've been eating like noodles from like in Indonesia, there's Bami DM and there's Bami Aloy and then Bami 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 and a, a lot of other noodles. I've been eating those and I feel sick of noodles right now. That's why rice from Missouri is a really a good choice and good pace of change. And I bet you're tired as well because Instant noodles is everywhere, but it's the rice noodles is really, it's pretty rare com in comparison. But eh, that's all I can review for this. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Whatever I make, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.